My Tesla Lego experiment this morning. I have a U-coil, a V-wire coil, a W-wire coil, about a thousand turns of wire. Got a power supply controller, one hertz anytime. Have two magnets arranged the same way. NSNS. They make like a bar magnet going across the rotor. And when I turn on one hertz of power, the rotating magnetic field in Tesla Sense makes the device turn clockwise. When I go to two hertz, it turns twice as fast. When I go to 3 hertz, it turns 3 times as fast. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the rod while I speed the device up. Watch this. So that's Tesla's rotating magnetic field. On a second simple variation of this experiment, we have three coils hooked up as UVW and series. Little variable frequency device. We turn both little Q magnets to the north pole's point out. So NSSN. And now when we turn on one hertz power, they go clockwise rather than anti-clockwise. So it just changes the way they spin. Very cool, isn't it? For this experiment, if I have four magnets, all the end poles are facing out. So we have four-fold symmetry rather than two-fold symmetry. We turn on the power and it doesn't want to spin, it just waggles. It doesn't want to spin because the two different motions are canceling one another. On the other hand, if I have I'm alternating out in, out in the four poles and put on a little power, then it spills very nicely clockwise, very powerfully as before. We alternate the poles between N and S. Another way we can do it is to have N, S, N, S pointing the same direction on that line like a bar magnet, and the opposite direct relation bar magnet that way, S and S, N. So it's like one bar magnet, S, N, the other. That's it, and again it spins very nicely. Put three magnets on the rotor with all the end poles out like six. They just rattle also and don't do anything. Need two or four to make it spin. The easiest solution is just to put two magnets like a range as a bar magnet across the middle. And then it spins up quite easily. That's the Tesla rotating magnetic field. Three coils U, V, W. Also, incidentally, when you see all those alien symbols like on Project Blue Book, like a series of rings with other rings between them, alien symbols, that's what these things mean. You've got three coils and three magnets, and it's three phase power. Of course, you can have three magnets or two magnets, and that's what they're trying to tell us. You put three magnets directly over them and turn on some three phase power. However, they don't do anything, they just rattle up and down. They bounce U, V, W. U, V, W, three phase power. They just rattle up and down over each coil in sequence. Because the U, V, and Ws are all firing at slightly different times. So you get no torque out of that. On the other hand, we have these same three coils, U, V, and W, and we have two magnets rather than three. Now we get beautiful clockwise torque. They're the same direction. You know, they must think we're really, really stupid for not knowing this. Must they must teach us to kindergarten to alien children elsewhere. And the way it works is that now when this magnet bounces here, instead of having two magnets bouncing here, our third magnet moves sideways. In this case it moves from W to V. I call this VW torque. Now when they're both end poles up, it'll go that way from W to V. On the other hand, if I have N on one side and S on the other, now they go anti-clockwise. So N and N go clockwise with this wiring 
in an S go anti-clockwise. And you think how primitive we are not to understand this. It's just astonishing. And it's because when there's a U for three-phase power, when one magnet sits over U, there's a torque either that way or that way, or a V and W, which can go either of two directions depending on the magnetic polarity. And that's why I call it VW torque. And this is why synchronous motors aren't self-starting at present, because they don't know this. They don't know about VW torque. So it's very easy to self-start a synchronous motor. They just aren't doing it yet. Let's just turn the power up just a little bit. No shortage of power there.